Hi, She Seeks. It's Juliana here, and I'm here to share with you a little bit um, of my perspective from Sam's Devo this week. Um, it was a good one, for sure, and her story about, um, you know, her working on Skid Row just totally brought me to tears um, because I've been there both on the side of, you know, of, of feeding the homeless or feeding the broken and um, and then also being on the other side of being that broken person that needed to be led to food, needed to be led to water, um, needed to be led back to the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. And so um, I want—I had two things that I wanted to show you. Um, the first thing is a, uh, you can see it, something I made for a women's retreat that I did. Um, and you can't really see up close, but basically what this picture um, or this drawing symbolizes is that we all were enslaved to something and there's um, there's bars or that's what these are bars and just clouds and just grayness of um, things that have a hold on our hearts and that can be um, shame it can be sin it can be fear it can be um, pretty much anything that you've done or anything that's that's weighing on your life that's not allowing you to live freely or even confidently in Jesus Christ and so um, there's a bunch of I made this for a personal project but um, a bunch of words on here that just kind of verbalized where I was when I made this um, some of them are um, I feel unpretty or I won't make it or um, not good enough that's a big one I think a lot of women feel that is that we're not we're never gonna be good enough and so then I meant to make another one, but I didn't have time, so thank goodness for puppy paint and poster board, because I wanted to take that painting and override it with this, because like Sam said in her Devo, um, everybody gets a second chance with God, and a lot of people, um, a lot of us don't take into consideration what that exactly means. I mean, we, we may know the Bible, we may know scripture, we may know uh, what it tells us, we may know the truth, but we don't live like we're ha living in a second chance. And so, um, we wrote a couple questions on Facebook this week, and I kind of just asked, you know, what in five words or less describe your biggest fear, or in five words or less describe something that's holding you back from pursuing your dreams or from pursuing the life that um, God has for you. And a lot of them were, um, they resonated with us. Like, we. I felt like you guys were talking about me. I felt like you took everything that I was going to say <laughs> right out of my mouth. But, um, you know, Sam's Devo reminds us that God takes away everything. He takes it away. And I love the line where she says, shame bullies us out of line. Shame is that thing that comes and says, you're not good enough. You screwed up way too bad on this one. Remember that thing you did in the past? Yeah, you're never going to get over that. And shame bullies us and pushes us around. And we don't remember that Jesus has the right to bypass that shame. We don't remember that, that Jesus dwells in us, that the Holy Spirit dwells in us as daughters of the King. And so we can take that shame, we can take those thoughts captive, and we can say, no, I'm not going to believe that. I may feel it, I may still feel insecure or not good enough, but I'm not going to believe it. I'm going to continue to live in each day knowing that I am saved, that I am redeemed, that I am loved by Jesus Christ. And so these words, um, you know, maybe get get a pen or get a, you know, your lipstick or your eyeliner and write them on your bathroom mirror just to remind you that you are free, that you are forgiven, that you have no shame and that you have no fear. You don't need to fear. And this was a, a big one um, on Facebook. Everybody wrote that definitely fear, fear of failure, fear of insecurity, fear of rejection. Um, I think fear is like the overlining um, thing of all of us that holds us back. And then to remind you after all of that, and you can even put a big X, I should have put a big X right here, um, to live and live each day when you get up in the morning and you're brushing your teeth or doing your hair, um, you know, look at those words and remember like, today I'm going to live no matter what, no matter what shame decides to push me around. I'm going to live in the freedom and the confidence of Jesus Christ. And if you guys don't know what that means, um, or if you want to ask more questions about this relationship with Jesus, please, please, please write in the comments. And we will get in contact with you. Send us your email address. We want 
to uh, share with you about this hope that we have found um, in Jesus Christ. So I hope you guys have a good week and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.